First, take out of all items from the package. Package includes user manual, monitor, power cord, camera, bracket, test wire, green connector, T taps, antenna, cigarette lighter, adapter. Pick up the bracket. Follow my operation. Pass the screw through the ball and get the ball in the ball. Tighten the screws. Align the bracket with the slot on the back of the monitor and snap it in. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. You can tear off the protective film on the bottom and paste it to the dashboard. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. Install the antenna to the monitor. Pull up the buckle. Place the bracket on the dashboard or windshield and pull the buckle to secure it. Tear off the protective film of the camera before use. Connect the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Connect the cigarette lighter adapter to one end of one connector of the test wire. Connect one end of the two connectors of the test wire to the monitor. Connect the other end of the two connectors of the test wire to the camera. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The testing finished. Now disconnect all wiring. Pick up the power cord. Red is the positive pole and black is the negative pole. Please test the positive and negative poles in advance. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reversing lights, tail lights, and license plate lights. The black wire is connected to the negative pole of the reversing light, tail light, and license plate light. Connect the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Connect the DC connector on the power cord to the camera. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Touch the up key to turn on the guideline. When the H appear on the screen, Touch the down key to adjust the height of the guidelines. Touch the up key when the W appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the width of the guidelines. Touch the up key when the M appear on the screen. Touch the down key to move the guidelines left and right. Touch the up key to turn off the guideline. Touch the up key again to turn on the guideline. Touch the M key, the letters disappear. Touch the M key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is used for pair signal. Touch the up or down key to switch to the picture. Touch the M key to confirm. Touch the M key, the icon turns red. Touch the up or down key to adjust the brightness. Touch the M key to confirm. Touch the up or down key to switch to the contrast. Touch the M key to confirm. Touch the up or down key to adjust the contrast. Touch the M key to confirm. Touch the up or down key to switch to the hue. Touch the M key to confirm. Touch the up or down key to adjust the hue. Touch the M key to confirm. Touch the ESC key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down key to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the M key to confirm. Touch the up or down key to switch image mode you need. Touch the M key to confirm. 
Touch the up or down key to switch to the system. Touch the M key to confirm. Touch the M key, the icon turns red. Touch the up or down key to select the language you need. Touch the M key to confirm. After the auto scan is turned on, the camera channel will automatically switch. After 5 seconds, the system automatically exits the menu mode. Touch the power key to turn off on the screen. Touch the down key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the down key again to switch to the split mode. Touch the down key again to switch to the CAM1 channel. Touch the down key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the M key to enter the menu mode. Touch the M key to enter pairing countdown. Turn off the monitor's power and quickly turn on. The image appears on the monitor, indicating that the pairing is successful. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 